I have a package of this Eat Regal Spanish rice with tomatoes and peppers. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Let's give it a try. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So this says it is simply delicious. It is fully cooked. This is an 8.8 .8 ounce pouch. And it says you can microwave it in 90 seconds. And then here on the back, it gives you microwave cooking instructions, tear a pouch open approximately one inch and place standing up in the microwave, heat on high for 90 seconds, remove from microwave and tear open completely and serve. So we're not going to be uh, putting this in a microwave. We're going to try to cook this in the Sabbath heat. And the ingredients are cooked long grain white rice, tomato, refined sunflower oil, onion, red capricum, garlic, salt, red chili, oregano, parsley, and sugar. So the ingredients are okay. I'm not happy about the sunflower oil, but I don't think this is something I will be eating often. It says made in India. So let's open this up and let's see what's going on inside. So I started tearing open the pouch and this is what's going on inside. It's really moist inside and I'm definitely getting the aroma of Spanish rice. I have my stainless steel mess kit and I'm going to use this as a pot and I'm going to heat the rice up in this in the Sabbath heat. So this is what the rice looks like. It's really moist because there's a lot of oil. I'm just going to break it up a little bit. I'm actually going to taste some of it cold. I'm just going to taste a little tiny bit. It tastes like Spanish rice, but there's a little bit of a strange taste. Maybe because it's cold. I don't know. I think it just might not have the seasonings that I'm used to with Spanish rice. So I'm going to put the let's put the top on. Let's secure it and let's put it in the Sabbath heat. So. Before I do anything, I just want to say I feel like I already have some kind of strange aftertaste in my mouth from this. But let's cook it. So the Sabbath heat is already on high. It says there are 33 minutes left here. So let's cook it for at least 20 minutes and we'll check on it in a little bit. So while the rice is heating up in the Sabbath heat, I've just chopped up about half of a green bell pepper, which I want to saute on my dash mini griddle. Here's my dash mini griddle. I'm just going to put the peppers on. And we'll close this. All right, let's check on the peppers. They're doing nice. A lot of steam coming off. They're softening up. They look so green. It must be the lighting. They're almost like a neon green. Okay, so these smell like they are done for now. I don't want to burn them. I just want to cook them enough so they're soft. Let's see, can we get them off of here and into a bowl? That's the one tricky thing about the dash mini griddles. If you're cooking something like this, it could be tricky to get the food out of the griddle. Normally I would fry up some onions with the peppers, but because I'm cooking in a hotel room right now, I don't really like to make stuff that has too much of an aroma. I also just cut up some zucchini, so let's put this in the griddle and let's cook this for a little while.
I also have a tomato which I'm going to chop up and put in my bowl. So here is the zucchini. I'm cooked enough to be soft. So this is what I have in my bowl. I have some of the cooked green peppers, some of the zucchini, and then I have the raw tomato. And when the rice is done, I'm going to mix in some of the rice and I'll have a nice rice bowl. Let's check on the rice and the Sabbath heat. Let's see what's going on in here. Wow, a lot of steam coming up. And it looks like the rice has been warmed through. Yeah, it's really hot. That's what it looks like. Let's taste some of it. It still has a weird taste. I don't know if it's the seasonings. It's just, it's weird. It's not terrible, but to me it doesn't taste like Spanish rice. Like, I don't even know if I want to eat this. I guess the rice that was on the bottom was kind of crunchy. Maybe it's a little bit overcooked on the bottom. I don't know. There's definitely some crunchy, crunchy bits in there. I guess it's not too bad once you start eating it. All right, let's take the rice and let's put it in the bowl with the vegetables, or at least some of the rice. Okay, so here's about half of the rice, and I'm just going to mix in my vegetables. The rice is really salty. If you're not used to eating a lot of salt, the rice is pretty salty. I do wish I had avocado. The uh, zucchini is making me think of an avocado, but that's fine. Okay. So now let's, let's taste some of the rice with some of the vegetables. Immediate big improvement. Definitely, definitely so much better by adding some fresh vegetables. Now this is a meal. Now the rice is decent. And so that is my taste test and review of this Eat Regal Spanish rice from the Dollar Tree. Is this something that I would buy again? Probably not. I don't really enjoy it that much more than plain rice for me to want to uh, buy this. However, the fact that it is already cooked is nice but I don't really enjoy the flavor enough to want to purchase it again. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.